Rails is all about shortcuts. And one of the shortcuts is this thing called implicit rendering. Take a look at what happens if I just delete this line right here where it says render index. This page still shows up perfectly fine. That's because by default, Rails is going to look for something. First, it's going to look for a folder matching whatever this is right here. So this says lists. It also says lists right here. It's going to look for a folder in views that matches that. So if this was Wombats instead, it would be looking for a Wombats folder over here. Then when someone tries to go to this index, it's going to look for a file matching index. That is, if this was spatula, then it would look for spatula over here. Oops, spatula.html.erb. I would also need to change this in my roots. But then if I refresh this page, it still works perfectly fine. So Rails is smart. Rails is going to look for the lists folder, and then it's going to look for a file inside the lists folder that matches whatever this is. Spatula in this case. Spatula, that doesn't make any sense, so I'm going to change it back to index. Again, this is called implicit rendering. It's just sort of implied that you want to, whoops, that you want to render this index.html.erb. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop there. Again, with me refreshing and these things changing, I'm still not quitting Rails S. I'm just leaving that running in that tab. And then I'm doing all of my other stuff in another tab. I'm going to call this commit taking advantage of implicit rendering.